Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Last time we did the A side of Forgotten Isle. Uh, this time we're gonna go open the moon rock and do the B side moons. Uh, some, one of the sub areas here is a little worrying, uh, but I think we should be fine. Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, hang on. It just occurred to me, there might be some purple coins under there. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, I'll go open the moon rock and we'll go have a look around once we've done that. So yeah, uh, there's a couple of sub areas that open up. I think there's two? Uh, I don't quite remember. But there's a bunch of bunch of other moons we'll be getting as well. Yeah, two sub areas and various other moons. Okay. Uh, we also want to find a few more purple... Oh, there they are. The last two purple coins. They're in that little passage there. Near the poison. waterfall -y thing. Poison fall. I guess is what that would be called. So was, I'm going to grab those purple coins first, and then we're going to make our way over and get all the moons. So yeah, first up, let's just pop down this hole. There we go. Easy peasy. Um, so. Uh, let me see here. Uh, the easiest moon to get is that one over there, which is just a banana. It's, just, it's a moon, and it's, it's in a tree, and it's yellow, and it looks like a banana. And, and the joke is, it's a banana. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, the shining fruit. Banana. <laughs> uh, there is a sub area just over there, but I'm going to save that for later, because that one is the one I'm worried about, and I would like to leave it for a bit <laughs> and do some other things first. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I believe the others, we all want to well, we all want to climb a bit higher to reach. Oh yeah, also I did some Balloon World stuff off camera, uh, just to grind coins for this outfit. Nothing too important. Uh, I only needed this outfit to make a joke anyway, so. Uh, oh yeah, there's a moon here. So, uh, these rocks were not here before. You can see that they're, like, sparkling as though they have a moon inside. That's because they have a moon inside. Uh, so what you've got to do is just make our way over to, uh, this fellow. And we want to throw Cappy at that guy so that we can launch said guy towards... Towards the, uh, rocks over there to get the moon out. There we go. So yeah, that was pretty easy. Um, I got the camera angle right, is the trick with that one. Uh, it's quite hard if you try to do it while looking away from your target. Which I often do, because that's where the guy is. ba da ba Yeah! Okay, so that's another moon collected. Pretty good. Uh, let me see. Over there you can see there's a scarecrow. I might give that a look. I forget exactly what that one involves, though. I think you basically just have to do a long jump of some kind, but I'm not sure. Oh, right, okay. So yeah, you just have to make your way down here and then get up the right tree as quickly as possible, basically. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! It's the only one in the Lost Kingdom, which is why it doesn't have a number. Uh, and it's pretty easy. Um, there's not too much tricky platforming involved there. Basically, all you do is roll off that platform. You don't even need to do a jump, really. Um, and then just climb the right tree, and you're good. Uh, let me see here. Okay, you can see there's a moon up here in the um, moon shard area. I might have a look at that next. You can see those rings there? That They clearly want you to use the wigglers to cross those gaps, but you don't need to. <laughs> Oh, right, right. <laughs> the moon is actually too high up to reach from down there. I, I just saw it before I found the poison. Uh, so what we're going to do is go this way instead. And just make our way up a bit in order to reach the moon. Sure, I hope you all like me falling in poison, because, you know, that's what we're doing here. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the moon is just there. 
He's pretty easy to reach. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And the name of the moon just tells you exactly how to get to it, so pretty simple. Uh, there's another one you can see also in this basic area. It's over there. So we might head over to that one next. Uh, I don't think we can climb up there, so we're going to head this way. And hopefully not fall into poison. I knew that would happen as soon as I said that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, po poison, um, unlike lava, which does one point of damage and then damage boosts you, poison always insta-kills you no matter how much health you have. So, it's something to be very wary of. Also, yeah, you can climb up there, like, hilariously easily. Uh... Cappy gives you some hilariously good movement powers. Uh, let me see. There should be a moon just here somewhere. Why my uh, face? I forget exactly where all the moons are, but thankfully, thankfully we have that little marker to remind us. Uh, let me see. Like it's pointing to basically here, right? No, it's the other direction. <laughs> Okay, so it's over here somewhere. Where though? Supposedly it's just here somewhere, like basically where that little dip in the poison is. Hmm. I am a little confused. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Alright, um, yeah, there's there's some notes we want to do, so we're going to have to climb up there and do the notes. I'm going to try to do it without a wiggler. I remember that this one sort of expects you to use a wiggler to do it. I'm going to try to do it with just Mario. I have a feeling it'll be much easier with a wiggler. Possibly not possible with just Mario, but a lot of things in this game that seem impossible without using a capture are possible. So we'll see how we go. See, it's over there. Um, I have a feeling we can't actually throw Cappy far enough to activate that. Um, we'll see how we go. See how we go. Which is one of the reasons you need the Wiggler to be able to make it... See, yeah, Cappy doesn't go far enough. Um, so yeah, you're obviously supposed to get a Wiggler and put it on that platform. So basically this Wiggler, um, in particular, is the one you're supposed to use. <laughs> Bloop. So yeah, as a Wiggler, we can move quite quickly. Um, you don't move too quick when you're just walking around, but when you're stretching out, you can stretch quite fast, and you can stretch quite far. Uh, as you can see, yeah, it, the notes are sort of weaving all over the place. Uh, I'm not doing this very well. As you can see, they're already trying to vanish. That was a really terrible attempt. Um, but you get the idea of what we're trying to do here. I just didn't do very well. What I should do is pull straight back like this, and then... Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, this one's a little tricky, actually. Uh, some of these are fairly easy. This one, I would not say, is fairly easy. Like, even when using the capture, it's still kinda hard. <laughs> the way the moving platform works. I nearly got it that time. So yeah, I'm doing this intended way and I'm still having some trouble. Um, <laughs> hmm. There we go. There we go. And yeah, it shows up there because you're obviously supposed to get those couple last. Uh, goodbye, my friend. You can't actually kill a tropical wiggler, even with a ground pound. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I don't think there's a way to kill them. Uh, which is good because I don't really want to kill them. Uh, okay, how are we doing? We need another six moons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, plus the peach moon, six. Cool. Okay, so we need to do the two sub areas. We need to do the race again. 
Uh, the race will be a little harder, but we should not have any trouble. Uh, I'm going to do this sub area first, I think. And I might do peach, the peach room while I'm here, just because I'm in, in the general vicinity. As usual, you just have to talk to Peach, it's very easy. Uh, uh, I forget exactly where the entrance is, it's up here somewhere. Here it is. Oh yeah, this platform that had nothing on it now has something on it. That makes sense. Uh, I forget what this area is about. Oh. Oh, okay, this is the one I was worried about. Okay, uh, as you can see, Klepto is here again, and Klepto will steal Cappy from us when we approach that moon there. Which means we have to get her back. And we have to do it without any of our Cappy movement skills, and we have to do it while permanently crouched. Which means that this first moon is very, very hard. Um, I think we're up to the challenge. I'm gonna see how we go. Also, it's so sad. Her little cries for help. I love her so much. I'm gonna save you, sweetie. Basically, you have to keep running over towards her repeatedly. Oh. Uh, because when you get close, Klepto will just fly on another one of these platforms. Um, but you can see you can't even ground pound the one Klepto's on now, which is the only way to get Cappy back. See, as soon as you get close, they just fly away. Uh, that one, I believe, is the only one that you can potentially hit Klepto on. What we want to do is get up there and ground pound so that we flip the two sets of platforms around. Because Klepto, I believe, always lands on that particular one. I think if I do a backflip from here, I should be able... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I might want to grab my Peach Amiibo. Yeah, I'm going to grab my Peach Amiibo, so, um, BRB. Oh my god, oh my god. I accidentally unpaused and backflipped into the lava anyway. So that's fantastic. Um, okay, so let's read this from the beginning. I'm gonna have my Peach Amiibo on hand because I think it will be very helpful to be able to heal ourselves up during this particular challenge. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, you just have to keep chasing Klepto, basically. Uh, I don't know if you can flip those platforms, like, right at the beginning, in order to save time. Maybe you can? Yeah, I was mixing up the two sub-areas. This one is the one I'm worried about, so... Um... The second moon here is very easy. Once, once we've managed to save Cappy, uh, we won't have any trouble getting both moons, but being able to save her might be a tricky proposition. Also, listen to her little sweet cries for help. I love her so much. I love this precious, precious little cap girl so much. And I want her to know that I will protect her. You can ground pound all these other things too, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do this one. Just so it's easier to climb up. So yeah, you basically need to keep chasing Klepto until they go back to that spot. And then you can ground pound the other one 
because I've swapped them over, so that that one... Because I already did a ground pound, that one is now low, so I can ground pound the other one, and it'll knock out Klepto. Also, this is actually going pretty well. I haven't used my amiibo yet, I just have it on hand in case of emergency, but I haven't had to use it. So, that's pretty cool. Oops. Okay, okay, here we go. Bam! Okay, all we gotta do now is make our way over to Cappy. Uh, and we can get her back in our head. And everything will be back to normal. Hey, sweetie, are you okay? Oh, she's fine. What a good girl. Okay, now that we have her back, all we gotta do is have her pull this switch. Yeah, Mario cannot pull that switch. It's just impossible. Which is baffling. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There is a way to get that moon from the other side of this block. Um, basically ramming yourself against it. Against this wall, you can clip through and get the moon, but... You may as well just pull the switch. Because to do it from the back side, you pretty much need to be a lava bubble. Anyway, the other moon is over here. And as you can see, it's really, really easy to get once you've got Crappy back. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And this area is done, and it went much better than I expected. I died once. Entirely, just one, one time. I didn't even take damage the second time. Didn't use my amiibo or anything. Okay, so that area is done. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, so, let's have another look here. Okay, so, since we're near the top here, we're just going to go all the way to the top and get the Peach Moon. Uh... Which we can do just by hitting this block again, and ramp, and just doing some, uh, awesome wall, j wall jumps over here. You don't have to press the direction or anything, I'm just pressing the B button in order to do this. Oops. Accidentally ground pounded, so that was cool. <laughs> uh, unfortunately the coins don't come back, so this isn't an easy way to just get all those coins over and over. They do respawn if you've actually left the area, though, so it's still pretty easy to get a bunch of coins. Hi, Princess Peach! Hi, Tiara! What a cutie. I love her almost as much as I love her sister. Yeah! Yeah, the next place we're going is the Metro Kingdom, which is what Princess Peach is talking about. Get hype, people! That kingdom is gigantic, so it's going to take more than two videos to finish. This one, we're nearly done. Uh, we're going to do that sub area now, and I think we'll finish up with the race. Uh, so yeah, the other sub area, which is actually the easy one of the two. Uh, because that one that we just did was the one I was really worried about. And it went very smoothly. Uh, this one... It's about Tropical Wigglers, basically. Uh, but I think we don't need to use one, so we might skip using one if we can help it. Uh, you can see that there's these uh, P-switches. Press one, the lava goes... not lava, that stuff. Poison goes down and makes the platform accessible, basically. So I think we can probably just go like that, right? Yeah, we can. Uh... And again, this is basically the same thing, except the piece which is a little bit different positioned. Okay. Um, you can see there's two torches here. We, what, we, what we want is for that piranha plant to ignite both of them. So basically we need to break, break some blocks so that there's a path they can get through. Uh, wigglers break any part, any block that they touch, basically, so you can break a lot of bro blocks really fast if you bring one here, but we didn't, so we can't. But we can still do this without too much trouble. Bling! Bling! 
Just using a couple of awesome ground pounds instead. There we go. And finally, these two. I'm actually giving them a path they can use. And there we go. So that's the sort of secret moon in this area. Uh, it's not super secret, it's pretty obvious. But up ba yeah! Um, uh, oops. Well, we're using Wigglers after all. <laughs> uh. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, and the last moon is the race. So we're just going to do the race again, uh, but with a Gold Cooper racing us. It's a little bit better at racing. <laughs> and then we'll be done here. Uh, we'll actually have this kingdom 100% complete. Uh, there's no hint art here and no secret paths, so as soon as we've done the stuff that's immediately here, we're done. Uh, we will have to come back to do the Shiveria hint art because it happens to be here. And I think there's another one that's here too, but the stuff that's actually in this kingdom is going to be done once we've done this race. So yeah, this is still pretty easy. Um, the only tricky part is just weaving around those, bro those breakable blocks in order to get past the explodey guys without too much trouble. I accidentally did a, home a spinning cap throw instead of rolling, but that's not a problem really. Because I'm still like miles ahead of everyone else. As you can see, that gold group is actually pretty close to us, so we want to keep our speed up here. I'm going to keep doing wacky stunts and stuff, that's not good. Ah, uh, no! Don't, don't do that. Oh no! See, Gold Creeper does the same strats that we do, so we might have a bit of trouble here, actually. Um... Oh my goodness. We might actually do this more than once. God. <laughs> That's a bit embarrassing. Uh... Yeah, I think the Gold Creeper has actually beaten us to the top already. Yep. <laughs> Give this a second try. It shouldn't be too tricky. Just take two tries, probably. Uh, we get some coins for for our efforts, even though we didn't get the moon. Okay, let's try this one more time. Uh, I believe we'll be at full health again. Uh, damage that you take within a mini game like this doesn't count. I think it's kind of weird. It's very important to do both of these very precisely. As you can see, Gold Cooper is not far behind us, so we need to be very quick. Oh my god. This might be the first one we're actually going to have trouble with. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're, they're using the same strategies we are, and they're a little bit faster. Uh, because they don't have to crawl into the right positions to do the strats, whereas we do. So that improved our t Oh my god. <laughs> So we improved our time there, but we didn't improve it enough. Oh my goodness. Okay, third try. <laughs> Let's see how we go this time. Ba bum ba da 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 dun dun. Okie doke.
No, nope, Mario. Okay, I'm going to retry because that was dumb. <laughs> that was awful. Okay. Uh, I accidentally climbed a tree. <laughs> Mario, please stop doing weird stunts. Just just do the race. Fast as possible, come on. We don't have much time to spare. Oh my god. This is gonna be a thing. I wonder if we can jump up from the cage. Is the cage actually there? Oh, damn it. Yeah, the cage is there. I wonder if we can climb under the cage and do it that way. Well, that didn't work. Uh, what I was trying to do there, um, there's a strat called Klepto Skip, which lets you get to the top part of uh, Lost Kingdom without going to where Klepto steals Cappy. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to do it. The easiest way is to do it from the top of the cage, which is what I was trying to do there. Uh, and I figured that might also work as a way to get us up here faster. Which it did. Um, although there's some explosives in our way. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I believe that that will work. If I don't suck. However... Oh my god. This um, terrain is not very level, so I'm having a bit of trouble rolling smoothly along it, rather than doing obnoxious things. Cause see, that's a massive shortcut if we can pull it off. Which should easily clinch us the win. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so that will work. I just need to do it better. <laughs> Mario, don't play like garbage. <laughs> Accidentally did a uh, roll cancel just there. I didn't realize I could do that. Why am I messing up so much? I mean, we're still way ahead. I just keep taking damage for no reason. Stop, stop wall jumping. No, don't ground pound. Oh my god, retry. <sighs> I, I don't know why I keep messing this up. Maybe I'm just tired. I, I said another roll cancel by accident. I don't know why I managed to do them so much when I thought it was impossible because of the way the crouching works. Uh, what a roll cancel is, basically, when you're rolling, if you jump and throw Cappy off to the side simultaneously, you can throw Cappy out uh, and keep all the momentum from your roll and then not be rolling without losing that momentum. So you gain the ability to do other stuff while keeping your full speed, which is faster than you can normally go by walking, because rolling is real quick in this game. 
Oh. Finally. Oh god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welp. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> and the Lost Kingdom is now 100% complete. Uh, Cloud Kingdom and Lost Kingdom are the only ones I've managed to do that with so far. Wooded Kingdom, we have a secret path to do. Lake Kingdom, we have a secret path to do. Sand Kingdom, we have a secret path to do. No, we've done the secret path. We have uh, a couple of other things to do, I think. Uh, we, we have the art to do, and we have the tourist to do. And we can't do another moon, so we actually can't do that one all the way. This one, we have a secret path and something else. The tourist again. The tourist is in Cascade as well. Cap, we have an art to do. Uh, but lost, 100% complete. Oh my goodness. Let's cash in these 11 moons we've collected. Oh my goodness. 399. So, yeah, just to recap, I had a lot more trouble doing this race here than I did with the capless challenge. Like, I died once in that klepto room, and then managed to do it just fine after that, where this race, I retried like... 10 times, maybe? I don't know. And I had to use a really weird strat. <laughs> um... But yeah, I believe that's the way- that's one of the ways you can do it. Um, I'm not sure exactly where the klepto activation is the first time you visit this kingdom. But you can climb up to that part of the kingdom and get all the moons you need without ever crossing the trigger to make Klepto steal Cappy. And I think jumping on that cage is one of the ways to do it. And one of the easier ways, as you saw. It's not hard to do. Um, like, the instant I decided to do it, I basically pulled it off straight away. Uh, I think the way a lot of people usually do it in speedruns, though, is to jump off one of these trees with a triple jump uh, in order to get all the way up to where those purple coins are. It's, I think it's this one, since that's the closest. If you do a perfect triple jump and then you do a cap bounce and a spin and all sorts of other, you know, advanced distance extending strats, you can make your way up there and then you can collect moons without having to go into the klepto activation area. I think. Again, I've, I've never actually tried that. Um, as you saw in this run, I just let Klepto steal Cappy and just played it the normal way. Just, I wanted to do the regular challenge, rather than try to avoid it. Um, since it was entirely doable, as you saw way back in video, some early number. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're done in the Lost Kingdom. In the next video, we will be visiting one of my favourite kingdoms. We, I mean, all of all of the kingdoms are one of my favourite kingdoms. I love this entire game. One of my favourites, though, which is all of them. However, the Metro Kingdom, which is... New Donk City is enormous. I believe there are 89 moons total. Uh, so, we're going to take many, many videos to do this. Um, we're just going to get over there for now. We're not going to do anything in this video. I'm just getting us over there. Uh, but yeah, New Donk City... I think has the most moons of any regular kingdom. Uh, some of the post-game areas have more moons than that, but 89 is the most in any, like, standard kingdom, I guess. And, yeah, it's a lot. Anyway, uh, here we are in Metro. Uh, we didn't actually finish the story here. I thought it was impossible. Uh, it's not. So, we're going to be finishing the story here, first thing. We'll be doing that in the next video. Uh, we'll be powering up the station, and then we'll be doing a traditional festival. Which, I imagine, is many people's favourite moon. For various reasons. Oh my goodness. I'm looking forward to it. Let's just watch the moon juice bubble for a little bit. Mmm, delicious. Yum yum power moons. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot to buy the stuff in Lost Kingdom. Uh, yeah, I'll go back and do that now. I'll make the video a bit longer, but whatever. Yeah, I got all the purple coins, so I can buy everything, but I haven't bought anything. So, let's just head back to Lost Kingdom and buy everything. 
Uh, and then we'll just peek in the Odyssey and just have a look at all the furniture, I reckon. Um, oh yeah, I hit skip on the cutscene, so we got to saw a bit of a loading animation there. Uh, you also see that when you resume from the main menu, when you start up the game after not after closing it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, we're, everything is already done here, except that if we warp up and go into the shop, we can buy everything from the purple shop, because we haven't done that yet. Since we found every purple coin, we can afford to buy every purple thing, and we can mess up talking and accidentally do a backflip. Okay, so yeah, the outfit you get here is the aviator outfit, which we'll be wearing. Uh, you also get a sticker and a couple of souvenirs to put inside the Odyssey. So, the same as any other kingdom with a small amount of stuff, basically. The big kingdoms have two outfits, the small kingdoms just have this amount of stuff. And there's the really, really small kingdoms that don't have a shop. <laughs> and so, there's none of this stuff. Anything that has regional coins at all, at least has that much stuff, though. Anyway, yeah, this is the aviator outfit. We'll be wearing it for a while. I just want to check this shop as well, just to see what products are available. Um, no, we're going okay. Um, we still haven't reached the things I'm really excited about, but we'll get there. Uh, we also actually need to buy these boxer shorts to get a certain moon, so we'll need to grind some coins at one point in order to be able to afford it. Uh, although we may, may already have enough coins by the time we get to the place you need it, so that's okay. Anyway, we're done here. The Lost Kingdom is completely finished, uh, and I've just bought everything that's in it, so I'm just gonna head on back down to the Odyssey, fly back to Metro, since I remembered everything we had to do in Lost, and next time we will be doing Metro's story, which I'm excited about, because Metro is a fantastic kingdom and one of the game's highlights. Um, just like every other kingdom, because this game is amazing and I love the entire thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just gonna fly on back to Metro. There's Cappy being cute. I love her. I love that sweet little cap girl. And I want to give her hugs. And I probably will give her hugs after doing this video, because I do have a Cappy plushie. Uh, which anyone who's followed me on Fetty knows about. You know, if you look at all my posts and sort of the selfies and stuff that I took. <sighs> anyway, here we are in Metro. Uh, so yeah, we've got the story to do. Uh, when you arrive in a kingdom that has story to do, it reminds you, which is nice of it. Um, the next part is a pretty simple platforming thing. We're going to be spicing it up a bit to make it more interesting. Adding some self-imposed challenge to it, uh, but it's not too tricky. Um, and then, of course, the festival. <laughs> uh, we also missed a lot of purple coins here, as you can see. We have 19 moons and 8 purple coins. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff we're missing. Uh, we'll be getting all of that later. But in the next video, we'll just be doing the story, grabbing any purple coins along the way. And here's our Odyssey interior, if you want to see what it looks like now. It's looking pretty good. We've got all sorts of stuff in here. Got one of those trees with the incredibly rigid leaves that you bonk into from, uh, from Lost. We've also got this little uh, butterfly mobile over here, which is cute. Mobile mobile. The, the thing with the dangling butterflies. Uh, and we got a frog. And we got a Jaxi. And we got Dory here. And we got... Uh, I think that's the... The, um, the water plaza from uh, Lake Lamode. In the little globe there. And we got one of these robots. And we got also a small bouquet here. Just sitting in the middle. And we got a replica of Top Hat Tower. We got all sorts of stuff. Oh. Uh, the Odyssey will get fuller than this, because we're only about halfway through the game. This is just the first half of the game's souvenirs. Um, since all of the major kingdoms have purple coins and souvenirs to get, we will be filling this up about twice as full as it is right now. 
Um, but that's it for now. Anyway, uh, next time, Metro Kingdom. Specifically, Udong City's story. The rest of it. Uh, so, look forward to that, and thank you for watching.